Okay, in this video, we're going to begin working in the third octet. It's not much di more difficult, but we've been working in the fourth octet, and our chart is going to have to update just a little. Now, the value of these positions is the same, whether I'm in the fourth octet or the third octet, because each octet is independent of one another as far as binary to decimal. Right? We, binary number whether I'm translating in the third octet or the second octet, doesn't matter. The binary to decimal translation is the same. Same is true of the increments. We're going to increment by these numbers, except in the third octet instead of the fourth octet. However, the number of hosts, and notice I've just changed this to just hosts now, increases because now I've got all of the fourth octet plus whatever I use in the third octet. So I need to extend this number. Uh, so I'm going to, oh, it looks like all of those are set. And I did, I also didn't uh, uh, undo the graying out in the last video. So let's uh, do that here live uh, now. <laughs> I didn't mean to take the time to do that. Um, so we're we're now going to extend this from 128 we can just double it again 256 5 12 10 24 20 48 40 96 well it's starting to get a little hairy and very rarely do i have to go up much above this if i have to i can figure those out but for now just to make it simple, I'm not going to bother with anything above that. Um, although I might have to uh, do some quick on-the-fly doubling on a piece of paper or something if I want to continue. But we'll assume for now that this is as high as I'll have to go. The subnet mask is always going to remain the same, except it's going to be in the third octet, except the second o instead of the second octet. However, the CIDR notation will now decrease because since I'm in the third octet, one less one than this would be the slash 24 network. And slash 23, slash 22, slash 21, slash, oops, 20, slash 19, slash 18, slash 17. Well, since this subnet mask is the same, I really could just take this whole row and just delete that row. I don't really need it. All I need is this for my third octet information. And now everything I do will be based on which octet I, I say I need. Uh, so in other words, how many hosts and so forth, and what or what's the address that I'm going to be uh, using. Uh, that is to say the network address. So I'll choose that once I get a problem and and then this will tell me uh, this will tell me the information but this will tell me where they fall. And you'll see how that works. It's not very difficult. It'll be very very simple. So in the next video come back and we'll do a problem with the third octet.